we got communication from the U.S. Embassy requesting a meeting with myself. Uh, I think that was last week, but I did not avail them of a meeting. I think they met our CEO and mining director last week. We're a, we're a sovereign and independent nation. We are supposed to be able to make decisions for ourselves or else what else has independence been about? 41 years into independence, we should have the right, we should have the power to say to any company, you know what? Your money is not good here. You know what? Thanks, but it's okay. We do not want that kind of investment. We are concerned about other issues. And so you may want to move on to another country. We have that right. We're an independent sovereign nation. If we're not, if we can't do that, then we're not. So, you know, I think we have the we have the wherewithal and we have the independence and we have the sovereignty to stand up and make our own decisions where this is concerned. You're dealing with giant companies. You're dealing with multinationals that are used to getting their own ways. What was the tone of that letter? Was it a suggestion for the meeting or a request for the meeting? Um, it was a request for the meeting. Um, I think the letter pretty much was trying to um, sell the company, trying to sell the, the project that, you know, this will be so beneficial to the country of Belize. So it's worth um, engaging and facilitating. I think something to that effect. I didn't read it, um, all the granular detail and so forth, every single thing about it, other than to know that they wanted a meeting and they were hoping to have that meeting last Thursday or Friday. And the letter holds weight? That it comes to the U.S. Embassy? Well, usually things from the U.S. Embassy holds weight, but just in this particular case, it doesn't.